Welcome back to another Digimon Talk episode where I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Digimon Royal Knights. I'm going to talk about their stories, uh, who the Royal Knight is, what is the purpose of the Royal Knights, and more. So just stay tuned for this Digimon episode. What are the Royal Knights? They are the overseers of the digital world entities who run the servers that control the digital world. So pretty much the security and the guys that protect, uh, you know, the digital world from harm. And I cannot talk about the digi uh, the Royal Knights without mentioning Drapsil, which is kind of always depicted as a tree. There has also been different forms from him, but, or her, because it's depicted as a girl. But it's the godlike entity that controls the whole digital world. Uh, it's a way to think about it, it's like uh, making Drapsil the desktop computer and the Royal Knights, the uh, antivirus that protect the main computer from any threat or harm. Um, in most of the stories, Dread Seal can be good or evil. Uh, it that doesn't really matter. Uh, the Royal Knights would do what Dread Seal tell them to do. Uh, I'm not gonna go into much details about it. I'll make a different video later on about it. Now let's talk about who is a Royal Knight. Um, as of me making this video, there is a number of 13 members right now. Uh, this number changed depending on the series or time. Uh, here are the 13 members of right now. Quick note, in Pildramon, uh, Palinemon was the one that created the uh, the, the Royal Knights. Uh, he was the one that assembled it. Uh, first of all, we have Alphamon, the leader of the Royal Knights. Probably the most powerful member of the Knights. Then we have Ognimon or, or, or Megamon. Uh, I mean, Ognimon or uh, Omegamon. Uh, then we have Galadmon. Uh, you know, pretty cool guy. Then we have probably the biggest Digimon I've seen, which is, uh, I, I believe it's Examon. Uh, that's how you say the name. Uh, then we have Dasnasmon. Uh, um, then we have the pretty cool guy. The, but then we have the uh, Crusader Mon, which you see those two in uh, Frontier, but I'll get a little bit into that later. Uh, later on, we get uh, Craniomon, kind of like Skull, that's why his name. Really cool. Uh, then we get uh, Gankomon, pretty cool guy too. We see him in video game in the Cyber Sleuth. Then we have Jesmon, which we saw him in, in the Cyber Sleuth as well. Uh, then we have uh, Slipmon. Which, you know, pretty cool guy. We see him in Digimon Savior. Uh, you know, he was kind of like the main guy. Then we have Duffmon. Uh, he appears in Digimon uh, Cyber Sleuth. Uh, next, we have um, uh, Magnamon. And, which is kind of funny that we have two B, uh, B Mons, uh, Mega Forms, or whatever. Then we have Ultra Force B Dramon, which is pretty cool. The Royal Knight story is probably the most used uh, plot point in any of the Digimon's uh, TV shows, movies, manga, uh, video games, even card game. And this is very understandable because, uh, you know, you get to see very powerful Digimon, you know, fight each other, fight different uh, threats. Um, and it's interesting, you know, that there is a mystery kind of behind them. So it makes it a very good plot for the uh, anything pretty much. So well, here are some of the places you can see the Royal Knights. First, we heard of the Royal Knights in the TV series uh, Demon Frontier, where you can see uh, Dynasmon and uh, Crusadermon uh, serve the fallen angel Digimon Lucemon, who was trying to destroy the digital wall and recreate a new one. Then we can see them again in Digimon Saviors or Data Squad, in probably uh, the second best story type that we've seen for the Royal Knights. In this show, it was based uh, around the Royal Knights and how Dratzil ordered them to destroy the human world because it felt like it was a threat for uh, for itself. Uh, probably not my favorite uh, Digimon series as people might know, but it's a really cool uh, idea behind it. And the third one, which would be the most known Royal Knight story, which is X Evolution. Uh, this is the movie where the digital world, you know, is becoming overpopulated and Dratzil decides that he cannot handle it anymore and he's just gonna destroy everything and create a new, uh, uh, a new digital world and so he kinda transfers the Digimons that he wanted to 
and he used the X program to destroy the Digimons uh, that are left over, but some of them are, you know, not killed by it, and so he sends out the Royal Knights to finish them off. Pretty cool movie, if you haven't seen it, take a look at it. Uh, and lastly but not least, we can see them uh, in some of the mangas like uh, The Savior and uh, Digimon Chronicles, uh, which they kind of have the same point as the uh, movie, same plot. And lastly but not least, the video games. Royal Knight has been in many games, uh, not just a story but playable characters. Uh, for example, Digimon World 4, which is pretty much like the uh, X Digimon movie, uh, where you can play as Alphamon, uh, uh, I believe, I don't remember if Ognimon, but uh, War Greymon you can play as, and uh, different characters from the movie, which is really cool. Uh, it's a fun game if you have people to play with, for players. Uh, anyways, then we have the newer games, which is you know Digimon Cyber Sleuth and Digimon World Next Order, which is also around the uh, involved the uh, Royal Knights, especially Cyber Sleuth, you know, uh, which is a big Royal Knight game. Uh, but it was it was really fun. And overall, the stories are great. Overall, the Digimon Royal Knights is a big plot in Digimon as a whole. It used in so many different series and different ways. For me, it never gets old, and there is always a mystery behind them, and another thing that I really like is the big fights between Royal Knights or them fighting bigger enemies, they're really strong, uh, so it never gets old for me. But anyways, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos, more Digimon videos are coming up, so stay tuned. Bye people.